before I begin about talking about this particular guitar, I just want to say it was awesome to meet Kevin probably a few years ago. I mean, well, time flies. Like four or five years ago. Well, yeah, five. COVID time. We subtract COVID time. It was a couple years ago. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> so it was, a, it was before COVID for sure. Yeah, it was probably like NAM 17, yeah, 18, something yeah, like that. Somehow we jumped on the phone together and I noticed that you were building guitars and they looked awesome and then you just kept growing. And I would love your posts on Instagram of like, look at the Thanks, quality man. action at all times, like killer finish, killer guitars. And then I just started liking in general of like just the iconic guitar brand of, you know, I don't want the same brand that everybody has. And that's kind of like Rivera Amplifiers. Sure. We're kind of the, everybody knows and we've been used on a ton of records, but it's not the, the typical brand right. that you buy for your first amplifier. You know what I mean? And, and I kind of like that. And same with my cars. I love having the car that nobody else right. has. It's just, it's just me. Right? Yeah, I, I, I like I, you know, different. and you know this. I mean, we've gotten to know each other pretty yeah. recently over the last few years, and I'm kind of the same way. That's one of the things I enjoy about you know following you, and you know, it's kind of the car journey as well too. So you know, for my whole life, it's kind of always been you know cars, motorcycles, and guitars. You yeah, know? absolutely. I yeah. mean, it's very rock star. When I was a kid, growing up with my dad in that Rivera, I would just go to Valley Arts or places like that, and I'd see Steve Lukather pulling up in that. Freaking Ferrari, and he's like 18, you know. Yeah. And of course, when you're a kid, you're like, I want to be that guy. Oh, absolutely. You're like, oh, what a, oh, I'm practicing guitar, and then of course, either guitar speaks to you, and you continue with it, or it doesn't. You know, that certainly led me to, to you know, the hot rods, and the, and then now, yeah. um, you know, into a little bit more of the exotic car thing. Yes. You know, I think we share that as well. So yeah. that, that brings us right into well, so what we're doing so here. so this, so I had a Diablo. SV, which is an extremely rare car. There's only a hundred in the that were imported in the U.S. Especially the '98s and '99s. I think there was only like maybe a hundred made, or maybe even less. But I loved it so much, and I loved the color. The color was a three-stage paint, and it's really hard to pick up because sometimes you need direct sunlight. It just depends the time of day and where you are. But it will turn red. It will turn pink. Sometimes some violet will pop through, yeah, depending on the sunlight. Yeah. Right? 100%. And I need it, before I sold it, there was a big gash in the rear fender, and it was like, who the hell is gonna fix this without having to paint the whole side of the car? Right. There's a guy in LA who's a master of mixing paints, right? So we got the Rosa Luke Dur, which is the color of that, of the of the Diablo, as right. the, a very rare color on Diablo to begin with. Had the paint mixed, he sprayed the car, it was so perfect, we couldn't believe our eyes, like, how is this possible? that he didn't have to paint the whole damn car. Fortunately, he kept an extra can so I could bring it to you and you sprayed it on this guitar. We did. And the, that particular guy that mixed the paint, it's even more special to me because he almost died in COVID. Like, like this is, I wasn't able to hold on to the SV, but having an iconic guitar painted with the SV colors, yeah. I feel like, okay, I have the SV in my life. Forever you know, now, and, you know and, I mean? and that was the thing. Like I remember you posted pictures of the car, and, and I mean, just a sick car. I mean, sick. You know, but but doing what you do, that's that's kind of it. You know, you get it, kind of enjoy it. I know yeah. you know, follow the videos, right? And, you know, get Move to see on. you romp on it a little bit, and then boom, it goes on to the next yeah. you know, collector or whatever. You know, so I sold it too soon, a little too cheap because they're now like four hundred grand. But well, yeah. that's all right. You know, hey, I think we've all had those. Yeah. <laughs> yes. uh, you know, my my story of that is is an all original numbers matching sixty nine Z twenty eight. Oh. Um, you know, DZ302, you know, the whole deal. Uh, Houndstooth interior, TikTok, the whole, uh, like, all of this great stuff. So yeah, that's a whole other story we can talk oh, about. Oh, but you about. understand, you know, you know. Yeah, so. that, I mean, I could have, I, at the time, I would have been able to purchase that car for $9,000. Wow. All original, yeah. right? Huge, huge money now. But uh, but yeah, so, you know, we, so, we, we talked about this thing for, for a good bit. And we modeled up a couple of different things and sent over a couple of pictures. Um, this right here. Uh, yeah. Uh, originally, when you know we talked about doing the SV logo, we had done. We were going to do a graphic on the guitar. Mm -hmm. um, we talked about a couple of different things, and then I think we even, uh, if my memory serves, we did a couple of a couple of pieces of maple, and and then we did. Uh, uh, we took some of this paint and we did uh, an epoxy pour. So we put a little bit of the paint on the bottom, right. and then a clear epoxy over. Oh, I remember and, that. Yeah. Yeah, and then we would have machined the neck. And then it didn't have, you know, because on the car, obviously, it's black, right? So it, right. it didn't kind of have the right vibe. Um, so we ended up going with this, and this was a great idea. And, and this is a shout out to Preston here. On this particular fretboard, the actual SV is carved out of a, a really nice piece of black ebony. Which is so cool. What an added touch. Yeah. I thought it was black 
epoxy, but right, the fact yeah, that we, it's wood. We, we even looked at doing it in, in you know, uh, an epoxy or, uh, you know, just cutting it out of a plastic, like a pick guard material or something like that, like we may do, like a, you know, like a regular black dot inlay. Yeah. Um, but this just, it kind of gave it that extra little push, you know. When you when you oh. say oh yeah it's an ebony inlay you know it's it's, yeah. it's African ebony you know so it's it's legit you know and that's then, the detail Lamborghini <clears throat> put in their cars well you know and it, it you know this thing has uh, you know hot rod written all over it you For know sure. it's got our For our sure. assault pickups in it uh, you know which here again kind of in that true vein you know but this is straight hot rod this is a five you know it's analog pickups. it's analog it's yeah, analog perfect. you know what I mean yeah, like that totally, car was totally perfect. analog. It just it shreds. So with this I one, you know, we were able to take that paint, and uh, you know, it, it's a it's a tricky paint to use, right? To to get it to to shimmer like it does, you yeah. know, because it does have this very subtle pearl, um, you know, because it's a color with some metallic-y pearl in it, and then sure. it's a a mostly semi-transparent top coat that goes over it, you know, that kind of gives it that that luminescence. Sure. Okay. Really, that makes really. Sense. And it's just like any other, um, you know, almost like candy where, you know, the longer you concentrate spraying in one particular area, you're going to get too much. Like it's, you know, especially if you get into the cutouts and the upper and lower uh, cutaways, if you spray too much in there, it's going to look different, right? So it's, it's interesting to you say very... that because the painter said that in the car too. He said it's all about the flow. Yep. You know, there's so much detail it's in tricky. that. Yeah. No, it's so tricky. Yeah. You but... put that same detail. Oh yeah. And, and if I'm being honest, it came out pretty damn cool. <laughs> <laughs> came out freaking mind blowing. Yeah, so uh, like it was you, a you really delivered, Kevin, in terms of like, I wanted the SV back. Yeah. I got it back. And yeah. so much more, and I get to play it and be a part of it. Well, you know what? It's amazing. As much as I dig the guitar, I'd still take the car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But uh, but yeah, no, it was a real honor. This and is... it, it, I, I'm, you know, personally, you know, I, I'm glad our, our friendship has matured to, you know, where you entrusted us with, with something like this that means a lot to you. So, oh, I'm a mega fan, man. Mega yeah, so fan. this. Uh, mega fan. Uh, this particular guitar is a real, real culmination of the talent that we have here. For you sure. Know, it is, you know, it's Rob doing, you know, his mastery on, on the next stuff. And it's Preston doing stuff on the CNC that, that that cat does, you know, impeccably. And, you know, William doing some paint stuff, me doing some paint stuff and guitar and wiring it. You know, it's just really a culmination of the team here. It's interesting you say that because as a manufacturer myself, that's one of the things I recognize right away of visiting your factory is... I've been around the block. I know what manufacturing is about, and I've visited multiple manufacturers and friends with the best of the best of them. I mean, even, you know, Harry Smith gave me a guitar when I was like 15 or whatever. So I've been around the block. Walking into your shop, quickly, you could tell, oh, these guys are very serious about what they do, and they put a tremendous amount of care. And that's what sold me right away. Well, Again, you. it's I want a different brand, but I also want the brand that I know there's a guy, there's people behind it right. that truly care. They're not just a number. Other brands, those guys come and go. It's a big corporation. It's it's you know, and they make wonderful guitars too. But it's it's not the same. Well, you it's know, not you, the same you, heart and soul. You've seen us uh, over the last you know since we've been friends you know whatever five six years now. It's, you know, you've seen us grow from this you know when it was just me and and then you know me and one other guy. Yeah. You know now we've got you know got a, a pretty decent uh, size crew. I think we're eleven people now. The black pickups and the black hardware, all the the black tuners like that. The SV had the black, obviously the logo, but the sure. black wheels and the black tail. It's just you just freaking nailed it, man. I can't wait to learn all. The shreddy <laughs> licks, because this is definitely a performance guitar. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you play it. Uh, you know, appreciate you, you know, entrusting us with the build. Uh, love that you're posting with it. Can't wait to see it, you know, alongside all the, the badass car posts and yes. stuff that you yeah, have. Yes, so. yes, I will take a picture. Fortunately, I sold it to a friend of mine, which I'll actually be seeing Sunday. So I will take a picture of this guitar next to the actual car. Awesome. <laughs> Paul, thank you very much. Thanks, man. Kevin. Looking forward to seeing you. You too. Thank you guys for checking this out. Uh, hit us up at iconicguitars.com if you'd like to have uh, an inspired guitar.